Welcome to the Just Xander podcast. I'm your host, Xander Gray, and this is a new week of podcasts, okay? This is podcast number six for me. And today, today we're going to talk about, I guess, motivation again. Motivation, we're going to talk about what has been going on with me, um... Just stuff, really. And, you know, I've been kind of just thinking things through of the game plan of what I need to do for myself and whatnot and trying to figure out a structure, really. Figuring out a structure that could help me in the in the, in the future, you know? Man, I sound out of breath, but... Yeah, man, so this week... This week has been, how do I put it, has been busy, productive, um, just, again, figuring things out, honestly. Um, it's been, what is it? It's been like a month now of just the quarantine thing going on. I think the following week, the fourth is when it was supposed to be stopped, but I think Again, I live in Washington State, so our quarantine still until May 4th. And I don't know if they're going to lift it or they're going to start slow with everything else. You know, I think that's the that's the game plan and just hoping that everybody is good to go. I think they're going to start slow. So um, even just today, okay, I, I started, I figured I wanted to... Um, I started the podcast a little bit early because usually I, I record on a on a Sunday, but I figured it's, it's Saturday night right now. Um, I know this is on Tuesday, so a lot probably has happened by then. But uh, my wife and I, we started this running challenge and, you know, we're just running, just trying to be active and get some air too on the outside. And while we were running about half a mile away from where we were at our neighbors decide to have people over and it's I don't know man I don't know how I feel about it I, I feel a little bit frustrated because we're supposed to stay at home we're I mean I, we're not even I, I drop stuff off to my mom's uh, we drop stuff off to my in-laws, my wife's parents, and we we're, we're being good. We're staying for the uh, six feet apart at least, and having a quick conversation, dropping the stuff off, and then heading out. And you know, if they need groceries or whatever, we do that too as well. But I just feel like people don't take this seriously, and it's a bummer because again, we don't know what's going on. I, I and I have people, and I know people out there that don't even believe that this <laughs> is real, and it, it, it's. It drives me nuts because the apparently the whole world is conspiring, you know. So that's all I'm gonna say about it. That's my two cents about it. Uh, this is not a podcast about that. Um, it's about motivation. So I talked to a few of my friends. They are uh, in music. They are grinding it out and, and just trying to figure stuff out. You know, figuring out what's going on and. With me, I am a small artist. Pretty much, I, I'm nobody. You know what I mean? Like, I'm. My goal is to put as much content out as possible, good content. Hopefully, they're good quality content out as possible, as much as possible, and hopefully, I gain uh, people. You know, tribes uh, uh, that that would, would like what I'm doing and, and and like like what I do and. The mic got cut off for a second. Okay, like what I do and whatnot. You know, I'm hoping that that's um, that they're doing that, and that I'm putting out good quality stuff. I'm focusing on putting videos and more music in particular because I've been kind of, in a sense, all over the place. So I'm trying to have a somewhat structure to it. Again, that's really no right or wrong answers. I think 
I'm just doing what what feels good, what feels right, what what's fun for me. And I'm just focusing on that, you know. Um, but I think there needs to be a somewhat structured f- towards it. And um, sorry about that. I'm just checking this thing. So I, I need new microphone cables, man. I need a new microphone stand. Ugh, just all these things. Anyway, um, yeah. So, so I talked to a handful of people, and a lot of them are trying to figure out what they need to do, what works for them. Um, I have friends that are uh, on the grind with me, and I have friends that are, that are in the business and and actually doing it you know for for real for real and they're telling me like you know labels like small indie labels they're they can put stuff out but like the bigger people they have to like figure out how to promote their stuff how to you know and and there's a lot of agree and disagree kind of um moments but again i'm not in that realm of knowing beyond what I know for, uh, uh, in the music business, you know, I just, I'm very small. I do everything myself. Uh, I, I collab with other people as much as I can. And that's really about it. You know, um, that's really about it. And I'm just trying my best to understand the business, understand like what I need to do anyway, back to motivation I talked to a couple of them and and it's hard. It's like we're still working. I, I'm still working only like part time, um, but I'm lucky where I can work from home and any chance I get to um, um, any chance I get to figure out stuff I need to figure out for the day or for the week. Um, or like videos or music or recordings, I actually can do it. I can I can actually manage my time and, and you know not really having to drive to work and that's about an hour away. Driving home from work that's about an hour away. Wow, my nose it just something's tickling my nose, man. Oh man. So I lost my train of thought, but. Um, so I have, a, a, so my bandwidth isn't, um, as, uh, 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 put out as much, you know, my bandwidth is wider now. Like it has more room for me to give more attention to it. And by bandwidth, I mean like my, my, my motivation, my attention span, everything else. So, so I'm grateful and lucky enough that I can actually do that. Uh, but again, you can, you still need to be motivated. You still need to figure out the way, a way to do certain things. And, and this is, this helps me is just writing stuff down, uh, goals. I know, I know you hear this all the time. You know, you hear it from people that have more followers than I do, people that, that have been doing it way longer than I do, but but this is just speaking from perspective, experience. It's just from my own thing. Like it, it, it helps. It, one hundred percent helps in, in just writing stuff down. And like, even if you don't complete the goal, writing it down, and having a structure, um, really, really helps. Even if you're like a like me, like very messy, very spon- spontaneous type of guy, um, I still have to write certain things down. Like just so I can hold myself accountable. That's the biggest thing is holding myself accountable. And, and, and nobody's going to, again, nobody's going to help me get to where I want to be. I can have, you can help each other, but by yourself, you're not going to be able to have other people or, or depend on other people that help you. It's almost like, I think it's a Chris Rock quote. Okay. He said, Excuse me, man. I'm gassy, tired, out of breath. Wow, what's going on here? Um, he said, you know, you won't really help um, a person asking for help if they're stuck by the side of the road. 
you're more inclined to help him if he's pushing his own car. You get what I'm saying? Like that, and that makes a lot of sense to me. So right now, I think that all I'm doing is just putting in the work, putting in the time, uh, getting better at my craft. You know, um, if I don't have the bandwidth or the uh, creative juices to get a song done or whatever, then I should be working on other things like like logo, branding, uh, maybe uh, 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 my another sample pack that I'm going to work on. Speaking of that, I'll get into that a little bit. Um, and working on, on, on scales and playing more guitar, playing more piano a- until, or, or, or going on YouTube to learn new things to learn, you know, like, like I think being open to learn and grow is key into being successful. Again, I, I don't know where I'm at. I know I'm still, this is a marathon for me and I'm still working towards, um, getting to where I want to go. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to bring people that, that I collab with and, and bring people that I respect and admire and look up to with me along the way, you know, cause, um, I just realized like, even though, um, you're not gonna, nobody's going to help you get to where you need to go. But having the proper people around you and having the right people around you, the right team that have the same goals with you, it's easier to get to where you need to go, I think, per- personally. Um, I don't know where you're at uh, in your life, but I implore you to, to talk to the right people open yourself up for collaboration, open yourself up for networking and stuff, but to, to the right people, like you have to be self-aware and you have to know, like if this person is not working for you, if they're bringing you down or negative or they don't really mesh with what you're doing, then, then, and it's, if, if it's like more stress and I think it's okay to walk away from it, you know, you can't force, um, a relationship. It has to happen organically Um, the person has to help you organically, you know, and, and yeah, that's a benefit too. Like it has to be mutual as well. Like, like everybody's selfish. Let's be honest here. You, 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 you're doing things. Yes. You want to help people, but in turn, you are also benefiting from it too. So you have to see it both ways. So if you're going to help somebody, make sure that you're helping them because you want to, for one, that you're genuine genuine and also somehow you need to it has to benefit you as well even if if it's the conversations growth learning a new skill knowledge that's all in that category okay so and and again with me i am an open book book whatever i know i am 100 percent willing to share whatever i know and i hope it works for you you know like it, it might not work for you I don't even know if it's working for me. Like I'm still in it, you know, I'm still in the grind, but you have to start doing the things. I think every day that you work on your goals, every day that you work on your dream or anything that you want to do for your happiness, for your uh, success is, is very, very important to start and do it each and every day, even if it, it's five minutes, 15 minutes. It, it, it's you're stepping forward every single day. It might take longer. It might not be your time. It might take years. And I think you have to know you have to be okay with that. Like, I just, I just know that whatever I'm trying to do, it's going to take, it's going to take, it's going to take time. You know, I'm not. I'm not the best songwriter. I'm not the best singer. Um, I don't know if I have it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I I, genuinely don't know. But I love what I do. I love doing podcasts. I love making music. I love sharing my music. I love working with other musicians that are, are, are way, way talented than I am. 
that know more than I do and and hope that I bring value somehow to them if they were to end up working with me, you know? And, and I think self-belief and self-worth is important too. You have to believe in yourself and you have to know that that you're working towards towards uh, your happiness and and your goals. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but what I'm saying is, motivating yourself is hard enough. But I think if you take the time to take care of your mind, your body, your soul, I think the things that you want to do will end up. Be becoming easier in a sense. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't give up, man. You really can't. And you have to know it's going to take years, but also you have to be self-aware that maybe if you're doing it and you're grinding it out and if you don't want to do it anymore, I it's okay. I think it's okay to move on. You, g you gave it your all. I think regret is a real thing and i think if you don't regret giving up if you don't regret moving on then in my eyes you've su succeeded you've 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 gone in your um your goals you you've done it you know maybe you're not the biggest star in the world or maybe you're not the the um the best you're not the number one artist in the world. And I think that's okay. There's other things that you can work on and other things that you can do. You know, I know <laughs> it'd be cool, but I know I'm not going to be the biggest artist in the world. I know that. Um, but, but working towards that, I think that's okay to, 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 to work towards. Yes, you have to have realistic goals, but I think if you keep working on getting better at what you do on your craft. Who knows? It might happen. But but you have to be real. You have to be genuine. You have to be you have to be yourself for one. Because I I always think about this. You know, I I see you know other artists, other bigger artists and friends that are very successful and they just know who who they are, they know what they're about. And sometimes I get envious because I'm just like, man, I don't know. I feel like I don't know who I am. You know, I don't know what kind of artist I want to be. And being yourself in the, it's crazy. You think being yourself would be easy, but, but it's not, you know, because you care too much about if you're doing the right thing, you care too much about, Am I, are you saying the right things? Are you, are you, are you trying to please too many people or you're not pleasing enough people? You know what I mean? Like this, a lot to th think about. And, um, and I'm, I'm working on being myself and being genuine, authentic every day and just knowing my truth, you know? And what's that? What's my truth? What's the question? You know, that's the question. Is I want to be... I want to be an artist. I want to perform music. I want to write good music. I want to write real music. I want to work with... Um, I want to work with people that, that I respect and value as artists. I want to get ahead... Um, I want to make movie music. I want to make TV music, video game music. I want to write for bigger artists, smaller artists. I want to be a ghostwriter in, a, in that sense. I want to make sample packs. I want to be, I want to do podcasts and have a successful podcast, podcast, you know, I feel like I'm rambling right now, but these are my goals, you know, and I have to write it down. But I think you have to be really specific, really specific on what you want. You know, I want to genuinely, I want to open for, oh God, 
It's so embarrassing to say, but I want to open for like Post Malone. I want to open for Childish Gambino. I want to open for Joji. I want to open for Billie Eilish. Eilish. I want to. I want to write music with them. You know, I want to write music with Drake. You know, all that shit, man. And I don't think that's impossible. I just have to put in the work. I have to put in the work and I have to be of value for me to be there. You know, I know I'm putting it out there, but that's my goal, man. Uh, I want to. I don't really care about the accolades too much. Like, I don't care about Grammys. I, I never cared enough about that. It'd be cool, but I just want to write good music. I want to write good music with good people and share it with, with them, you know, and and, and network and knowing and, and hopes that I, in the hope that I can help uh, a newer artists or help um, people come up with me, you know, just bring them up with me. But you need to work. You need to put in the work. You need to be good. You have to be good. And that's also that's that's luck that comes down to it. But you have to work. Luck. <sighs> hmm. Knowing the right people is important. Luck does play a part, but working as hard as you possibly can will make you lucky by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations by putting yourself in 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 challenging yourself is going to make you lucky and make you successful that's does that make any sense you know i i again i i talked about this in the past podcast and i said that I was playing in bands for over 13 years, you know, and I, granted, I played with big bands, small bands, but play with like really, really good bands that why are we even here playing with them? Because they're so f***ing good. And I got, a, I got, I, I'm getting ahead now than I did playing in bands. Maybe, maybe, maybe we did it the wrong way. Maybe I did it the wrong way. Maybe we weren't good enough. And, and that's, I think that's okay to say. Maybe I just didn't understand what was uh, expected of me. But now I do. Now I know what I want. Um, even though I'm on my own, being an artist and producer, I know I have people helping me too, to collab with. Um, yeah, man, I feel, again, I feel like I'm just talking out of my butt right now but the main thing is you need to figure out what you want to do with your life because let's face it guys 2020 is done unfortunately but that it doesn't have to be a bad thing i think taking the I, it's hard Get, trust me it's hard but really thinking about what you want to do and what you need to work on now is the best time because you have time now. People, people tell you, you have time in the beginning. Oh, you have plenty of time. And, and you know, I, I know 20 year olds or, or, or 20 somethings and they feel like their life is over. I'm like, what are you talking about? You're so fuck. You're so young. <sighs> like you can, like Gary V says, you know, you can, off for like a couple of years or five years and do whatever the f you want and then come back and, and focus get it out of your system or whatever you have time depending on what you want to do you know but you have time like there are days where i'm just telling myself like i'm way too old for this this rat race to try to be an artist and stuff like that i'm gonna be 33 this year you know but I'm not giving up. I'm, I still feel like I'm 20-something years old. I feel like I'm 22 years old. I know it might be hard to believe, but I feel that I genuinely feel that way. I'm still hungry. I'm motivated. And I want I want to, I want it. I fucking want it, man. I do. And that's the first time I said it in really in public. 
in this i i mean i don't i don't even know who's listening but again this is therapy for me you know and if you're listening i know it feels like i'm rambling on but there is a point um just don't give up man just just don't give up go after what you want to do 100% you have to do it, do it for yourself you know i it's supposed to be hard it's supposed to be hard if it's that easy then it's not worth doing you know i mean it'd be nice but you weren't you're not going to appreciate that much you know if it's super duper easy, if it's given to you, I had to work so hard. I'm still working so hard. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. And even then, I feel like I'm not doing my best. Anyway, motivation. <laughs> I hope I'm motivating you. Um, just don't overstretch yourself. Find your focus. Write things down. You know, all that vision talk uh, vision board stuff it's it is key it is key people it, it it helps being able to see it write it write down what you want in your head write it down it, it, and holding yourself accountable you know even though if you have a day where you just want to just you can't do it you're not motivated it's okay don't judge yourself for taking the break don't judge yourself for Maybe playing a video game for a little bit or watching Netflix for a little bit. But know that the next day or the next hour, it's time to work. You know, you have to know that. Anyway, that's it for number six, man. I, I, I think I went a little bit too hard on this one, but but I'm just, I'm, I'm ready, you know? I'm hungry. Um, so... Write things down. Don't give up on, on what you want to do. Don't judge yourself either if it's supposed to be hard. And anyway, I hope this helps you, man. Like, I, I really do. Uh, I hope that me talking about what what my perspective is, I hope it gives you somewhat of an inspiration. I hope it gives you somewhat of motivation. I'm in there. I'm I'm there with you. I'm right there with you, you know. I'm putting in the work as much as, as I can. Um, anyway, thank you for stopping by. Oh, the sample pack is done. The guitar sample pack is done. Uh, uh, give me a second. I need to drink some water. Oh, tasty, tasty aqua. Um, sample pack is done. The lo-fi, the lo-fi, oh my God, I can't speak. The lo-fi beat tape EP is out, okay? As far as I know, it's going to be called Sessions in Separation. I'm doing it with Vapor God and Self Fan Music. Dope dudes, dope producers. They use my samples and we produced it together. It's going to be out soon. We're just trying to figure out the date. The structure, everything else, but it's done. It is done, people. It's going to come out soon, and it sounds bonkers. It sounds really good. Six tracks. It's fire, man. It's so good. And I'm working on other instrumental stuff, working on on, on, on songs on my own that I'm project, projected to release soon, too. Just working out the kinks. I'm working out my website. So it's coming, okay? It's coming. Anyway... Have a great, have a great day. Be motivated. Put your head up. Okay, it's okay. Take the time to, to question yourself. Take the time to know what your goals are. I'm in there with you. I'm cheering you on. So let's get it. Let's let's get what's ours, okay? Anyway, super, super motivating you right now, I hope. Um, all right. Xander Gray out. Thank you for listening to the Just Xander podcast. Please rate and review. Somehow it's still only on Anchor and Spotify. I'm emailing them, hoping to get it out and on other. Uh, uh, uh. That's it.
zoom in. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the video got cut. That's my bad. Um, my camera only does 30 minutes or 29 minutes kind of thing. So anyway, I was at the tail end anyway. I was just saying, um, just rate and review my podcast if you can. And um, it's for some for some reason, it's only available on um, uh, Anchor and Spotify. I'm trying to get it on other platforms. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for watching because this is a video. It's going to be on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe. And I hope you have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good night. And um, take care of yourself. Be safe. All right. Peace.